Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to demonstrate to students the difference between spring and neap tides. All right, the first thing you're going to need to show students about tides is a stack of magnets and some paper clips. I got these from the dollar store. They were 12 for a dollar. They work okay. They're not quite as strong as the expensive magnets, but they'll get the job done. So um, make a big stack and a small stack, whoops, and ask students first, which one do you think represents the sun and which one represents the moon? And they'll probably know, hey, that the sun is a lot greater in mass. So this would represent the sun and this would represent the moon. Okay, next ask students to predict how many paper clips do you think would stick to the sun? They can make a prediction and then they can start putting them on and collecting data. So one, two, three, four. If they keep going, they'll have quite a big stack of paper clips. Okay, and then since the moon is a lot smaller, it's not going to hold quite as many paper clips. Okay, so the point of this is for students to understand that the sun has a lot more gravitational pull because it's more massive than the moon. Next, to show students the difference between spring and neap tides, I got a piece of cardboard and the thumbtack in the middle represents the earth and I bent a paper clip a little bit in the center just so it would um, not move around too much, um, but it can still rotate. Okay, so the thumbtack is the earth. The paper clip represents the oceans. So the oceans have ability to move and swell on different sides of the earth based on where the moon's located. So here I have some magnets and I drew this red line, oops, to represent um, the orbit of the moon. So if we take our magnets and we uh, move it around, students can see that the paper clip follows, right? So we have the oceans that are going to swell um, based on the pull from the moon. So if this stack right here represents the sun and here is the moon, I tell students the way to remember the difference between spring and neap tides is that neap is 90, so sun, earth, moon at a 90 degree angle, and spring tides are straight. Okay, so straight line. So here I have a spring tide, neap tide, spring tide, neap tide. So if you want to splurge and get more expensive magnets, this does work a little bit better. But like I said, these are from the dollar store and they work pretty well.